pressure on this team's defense right now. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. Now following the interception, they're set up nicely here, already inside the red zone, knocking on the door, if you will, first and 10. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 96 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Back to throw. Dawson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Here's Henry. Now he's going to be marked down very close to the first down marker, but it looks like he's a yard short. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. On fourth down, Dawson. And it's caught in the end zone for the Viking touchdown by Justin Jefferson. A great effort there with his third touchdown so far, number 13 now on the year. And the Vikings' decision to go for it pays off with six points. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But yeah, they... And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet... All right, all right, all right. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was all capped off by Justin Jefferson's touchdown reception. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, it's Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. 
I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. And he'll be tackled at the 45, following a gain of just two. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the past, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, They've got to pay it off with some points. Back to Montgomery on second down. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Looking to throw. Fields. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. Taking a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. On first down, Fields. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. Montgomery back to the ground, and he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a one-yard pickup there that's going to make it third down at six. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the gun on third down, Fields. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. On second down, they'll run it here. And he will fight his way in. Not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. A great play there with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bears are able to cut into that deficit. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one, they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. This one fielded at the five. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and 10. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 107 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Looking left side, and it's 
it's complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. And now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Looking to throw on second down. Dawson, middle of the field to Jefferson. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. To throw on third down, Dawson. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. The extra point splits the uprights, and they open the lead up now to 25. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And they'll give them another shot here on the ground. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Seven yards on the carry. Make it third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down. Fields firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he goes out right around the 39. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Play action, Fields. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. So the completion good for seven there, and that'll bring up second down. Play action, it's Fields. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now it's Fields off the bootleg, rolling to his left. They find some open fields hit, and the ball is loose. And the Vikings pick up the football. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. 
Had some good yardage there, too, before he fumbled that football, Charles. Yeah, just think about it this way. Running backs, as a general rule, they kind of know when the end of a run is near, and you notice how they cover up, right? They protect the football. Sometimes quarterbacks forget that out in the open field. After a while, you start to wonder, does the running back coach visit the quarterback coach and say, hey, I can help you with this? We can